Hi, yes, uh, ticket for one? Thank you. Yeah, Slovenia. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Uh, I got a job there. I got a job there, yes. Um, I don't know if you know me. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Victor Tosti. Um, you may know me as Toasty FM. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what do I do? I'm, a uh, I'm a football, uh, manager. Um, so I know I, 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 I've managed a few clubs. You might have heard of them or not. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm moving up in the world, you know, got a new, new hot job in, uh, Slovenia. So, uh, that's where I'm headed. Yeah. I, w I was just in Slovakia. The last time I coached, it, it was a while ago. I've been, I've been unemployed, uh, for a little bit, I would say uh, about five months. Yeah. I didn't have a job for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, things just happen. Things just happen, but uh, dealing with it, moving on, and, and I got a really good job. So, um, you know, if you're ever in uh, Slovenia, hit me up, baby. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 34 of The Return. I am Toasty FM, and today we come to you from Slovenia, from Selj. Selj in Slovenia. I am the new manager of Nogotmeni Klub Selj. Yes, in the uh, Provaliga Telecom. Uh, teams you might recognize from this division are NK Maribor, and that's pretty much it. Maribor, uh, many times uh, champions of uh, this division, 18-time champions of this division. Um, they've pretty much dominated it forever since I did some research. Um, and the league was founded in 92, um, after, uh, Slovenia, um, gained, um, gained independence from the former Yugoslavia. So, out of, I mean, now it's 2024, so out of 32 years, they've won it 18 times, I'm guessing, or 33 years, 18 times, which is... Uh, kind of ridiculous. Uh, it's, uh, I know, you know, obviously leagues like, uh, Scotland with Celtic and Rangers, uh, Portugal have Benfica, Porto and Sporting, uh, Spain have Barcelona and Real Madrid, but this, this kind of dominance is, is of a different level. Um, if we look at, uh, previous, uh, no, I don't know, like, on pre previous winners, um, lately, we've had some different teams, uh, Lublana, uh, won it a lot at the beginning, then Goritza, Goritza, um, then more Maribor, Maribor in here, um, Lublana, again, Lublana, I believe, is the biggest country or municipality in the country of Slovenia, but an outlier in there is is oh it's cope one of them could be coper but is nk selj which is who i've taken over uh they have come up uh fantastically over the last couple of years uh they've you know occasionally uh been in that area but in the last three years in this save they have finished third first and i think last year they finished fourth and because of that it has created an amazing influx of money. So, first of all, so it's the fifth not largest city slash municipality in Slovenia is Selch. 
So one of the bigger c cities in the country, but they have a larger stadium. I was offered another job from uh, Dom's Domsall and Selch, and then I saw the difference. Domsall had uh, two thousand seater stadium, two thousand eight hundred and thirteen. Uh, Selch had a much bigger stadium and a much, much bigger transfer budget. It wasn't even close. I think, let's just say five digits for um, Domzal. Here, our transfer budget, but budget at Selch is three point five million million dollar euros okay that's seven digits that's a lot more digits than what i what i've ever been offered at any other club um they are in very good they're in a very good financial place um at the moment now i'm obviously i don't think this league is so crazy that they are you know able to provide money like this i'm sure the league is uh better than that of slovakia let's see what the rankings look like i believe yeah S slovakia was 31st they're 24th so 24 slovenia and slovakia was 31 yeah they're 31 oh, yeah 31 so they it's a better league so i'm sure the money coming in is better which helps out a lot to be fair um you know but they're a little bit less than a, a championship level team uh championship level league um and so and, and also because they've been in europe they've been in the champions league they've been in the europa league uh which is I mean, the fact you get any type of money from that coming in, it is a huge addition. Let's look at the schedule. If we can look at uh, where they were, uh, Champions League. They were in the Champions League uh, first qualifying round. They fell down into the Europa League two, um, and they've been in the Europa League, you know, a couple times la la last couple of years. So that's been a huge addition. Even this year, they start off in the Europa League two. Um, you know, and that against Anderlecht, they lost out, but I'm sure that had a huge, uh, help monetary, monetary wise. Okay. So the reason I'm taking over is this team was suspect is expected to finish in the top four, uh, in a European position. And so far they have not been close to that. Uh, they have been in the relegation zone, um, just a cut one point behind Domzal and a Valange. Um, so they've talked to me and we've decided, uh, we can go with a top half finish. So fifth and above, um, which is going to be difficult, but we'll see how it goes. Um, my guess is that splits into, um, a relegation group and a and a european group stages last season yeah so oh, there's a playoff they played 36 games they just play every team four times that's kind of crazy never mind that's a lot of games um so there's still plenty of games in the season we pl uh, apparently we play every team a lot um, despite only there only being 10 teams we get a lot of chances to play the same team over and over and over again so there's still a lot of games to go between here and the end of the season so you know there there is still 23 games left in this season so there's a lot of possibilities for us to get uh points um to get points and and go up the table a lot. The squad is bloated, I would say. There's a lot of guys. There's just a lot of people on the payroll. A lot of guys that they've tried to get out on loan. 
um, that have just not been able to go. They have like five guys in one position. It, it's it's a, like a lot of people in the midfield, a lot of people in the center of defense. There's just a lot of guys in the squad. And so my hope is to get rid of a lot of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it just in the winter transfer window. It might have to be done even into next summer. But with a 3.5 million uh, euro transfer budget, the squad, uh, let's check. What is our level of our best player? Uh, Adrian Zelchevich. Zelchevich? Uh, he is, let's see, report, coach report. He is a leading player, right? So our best players are, you know, so would be considered some of the better players in this division, which, which bodes well for us. We just have to use those players to the best of our ability. Um, our team's not that old, which I like. Um, you know, the oldest players, um, you know, they're not going to be here very long. We don't really have that many guys over the age of 27. Um, our best players are in their primes. Uh, 27, 27, 26, 24, you know, which is good. It's good that we have a good squad. A lot of these guys, I'm hoping contracts end at the end of the season, like this fellow, um, this fellow, these are all guys that I'm hoping I can either sell in this transfer window coming up or just set for release, have them take that money off the books and hopefully we can sign a player, you know, a better player in that position in the summer. 3.5 million of a transfer budget in this division, I'm sure is gargantuan um, compared to others, um, I'm sure. So, um... Our facilities, I might hope we can invest. Maybe some better data analyst facilities. Good youth recruitment, which I like. Um, our under-19s looks good. Have a couple guys in there that I'm interested in. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. Uh, because there, a lot of them are in positions that we have a lot of people in. But I'm glad that we, you know, we can build off that. This seems like a club where I can build at least my European reputation, maybe even get a, a coaching course, which would be very nice, but build my European reputation, you know, show these people what I'm about, uh, you know, play in Europe. Ooh, that'd be amazing, right? To, to get a chance to, to, to earn a European place. So uh, this team's been very up and down, uh, but they've had a lot of highs and a couple lows, but we can, we can deal with that. Uh, they've been in mid table, you know, so we'll do better by them. So let's get into the game and let's show you what I've done, what I have planned tactically. So, uh, this squad is, uh, it's, it's a mess. It, it's just a lot of guys. So many guys are exhausted. Like they had a game three days ago and like this entire team must have played 90 minutes. Um, somehow because or and that must have been like i don't i don't understand how so many players are so exhausted like it's crazy so uh a lot of guys are coming to play the first time this is my um this is what i plan on playing I like that actually. So this is what I'm gonna go with. I'm still not sure how I. F how, I mean, I don't really know these players, so I don't know if they're good, bad. You know what's up? Half the team is tired to all heck, so I, I'm not even playing the best players anyway. Um, this game is uh, going to be 
extremely um, interesting um, to see, like, like if our players are any good. Like, they could be ass, for all I know, to be honest. So, uh, I'm playing kind of a more defensive formation with those two uh, defensive midfielders. I'm hoping that we can get some guy, you know, we can hold, have some defensive st stability and let some of our individual quality stand out, at least for the moment, until some of our better players, or at least until something changes, until I can figure out who on this team is actually any good. Um... This looks like we're, we're playing ourselves, essentially, because of the, uh, shit, um, because of the kits, um, we're, we're in the blue and yellow, uh, if you have not noticed, uh, we're already 1-0 down, we're holding a lot of the ball, except it's not leading to anything, never mind about holding on to the ball. Now we're holding on to the ball a little more. Cruffle. The ball in. And here we go. Come on. Let's hit him on the break. Glavlovica. Glavica. Loses it to Kurdich. Kidrich. Rock Kidrich. Uh, we're playing like ass. We're playing bad. Two goals. I mean, so I, so I took this job... Today? Um, I don't think my players are really understanding the tactical nuances of this formation. I don't know. I don't think they are. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, um, I, I'm not sure they're understanding what I'm trying to do here with, um, with this squad. I, not really doing anything, to be honest. I'm, okay, that's better. Okay. We're actually taking shots, which is important to score goals. I mean, we can go out there and just expect the other team to kind of just kick the ball in the net for us, but I like to I I would like to hope that we could do that ourselves. But apparently not. Okay, we have the ball to start out. We had a, we had we had the first first highlight of the game, and since then, it has been drier than all hell. He's gonna lose the ball, isn't he? I just, I just... So he's our third string goalkeeper. Our first two goalkeepers were extremely tired. Like they had like ran a marathon this morning. I don't understand. Our number one goalkeeper, Filipovic, is at 74%. You're a goalkeeper. What were you doing to be this tired? Now I got to play Machic, who sucks ass. Rogelge, Smee. I'm much more angry today <laughs> um, with my players. I think it's just because I... Because um, I actually, like... Okay, so if I if this were my real career, if this were my real real, real career, I would say this is my first real job. You know, the first two were kind of internships, apprenticeships. I was learning the trade, but this is the time where I can go out and show people what I'm about. And that sucked, and the players sucked, and we got beat four 0 in my first game. So, not good. Not a good uh, representation. I was hoping with the defensive midfielders we would shut up shop, 
you know, really, nope, they just came out looking bad, and, um, yeah, I don't know. So I wouldn't say that's a great performance, uh, considering the team was on a good run, unbeaten in the last four, and I come in and shit the bed, uh, against the team where we should be. Uh, uh, yeah, that, not the greatest performance, I would say. Um, the team don't really know the formation, 50%. Um, marking, marking awkward. No wonder they had no idea what the hell I was doing. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, no wonder. Yeah, that's an issue. Marking, very awkward. Yeah, no wonder we couldn't mark for shit. Well, hopefully I'll um, fix that, and we'll have that ready for next game, uh, which will be, who's on the top of the table? Alumni Kidravinko, or Kidra, Kidra, Kidra Chivo, Kidra Chivo, Alumni Chidra Chivo. We'll play them next episode. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below. And take care of yourselves.